Hi guys, we're uh, we're in land today. We're in Cordoba, and um, just to show you the temperature, it's 35.5 at 3:30 in the afternoon. So um, hopefully, I'm going to take you around and show you a lake a bit later on. It's the biggest man-made lake in Spain, 53 kilometres long. Uh, so when we leave here, I've got an appointment here now. When we leave, um, we'll drive that way around, and I'll show you the lake. Okay, guys, bye now. The, uh, the village of Rute in the province of Cordoba and uh, this is where I've had my meeting this afternoon uh, I'm on my way home now but I'm not going to go directly home uh, I'm going to take you around the edge of the lake and just show you what it's like uh, on the biggest man-made lake in Spain which I think I mentioned earlier is 53 kilometers from one end to the other. As you can see, the, uh, the crop here is olives. It's just thousands and thousands and thousands of acres of olives. We're too high here for citrus fruit production. So the only thing that can be grown is olives and Almonds could be grown here, but the, the value's not high enough. So, as far as the eye can see, everybody's growing olives. Okay, guys, I'll bring you back in a moment when we turn off the main road for the lake. Guys, we're on the small road out to uh, out to the lake now. Still 35 degrees, six o'clock. Pretty hot up here. More olives. Olives, olives everywhere. Another drop of olive oil to drink. So we're headed out towards the lake. soil up here is very very sandy quite gravel like so uh, it'll only really support olives almonds it would support vines for wine production but that's not really a big crop in this area so uh, it's olives track here that goes up around the side of the lake. You can follow that track up. We're going up this way. When we get over this hill you'll see the big lake. to 
excuse me, I'm just drinking a couple of cans to drink. Uh, do a lot of talking in that meeting. Uh, pretty thirsty. See the dam down there, that's uh, obviously the lower end of the lake. The olive trees go all the way down to the lake, to the edge. The lake actually continues up past the road bridge you can see up there. Just by the, the road bridge in the distance, it, it's the village of Isnahar. There's a hotel there. Just before the bridge you can see like a big expanse that's like the beach. They have uh, kayaking and boats available off there. Yeah, pretty big lake. It goes all the way up the valley on the other side of the, the road bridge up there. More, much more on the other side. So it's 53 kilometres from the, the dam to the top end. You can see how the water level is quite low already. Quite a lot of water been used out of the lake already. We're only in June. It needs to see us through June, July, August, September. I just wanted to bring you down to show you this uh, this lake. Different lake to where we were the other day. This is about an hour and a half from, from my house. And um, we're at 610 meters, so we're almost double the height that we were at the other lake. Okay guys, hope you uh, enjoyed seeing that and seeing the different scenery up here with all the olive trees. If there's anything else interesting, I'll pop the video camera back on. See you later. Bye guys. outside Antikara here and I'm going to stop in my favourite little petrol station for a coffee uh, give a shout out to a few friends on YouTube okay see you in a minute
favourite coffee stop off the motorway. And uh, me and Bucking Billy Ray, we have a bit of a joke about when I stop here, I always send him a photo of my cup of coffee just so he knows where I am. Sherry, I hope it all works out. I hope the recovery is fast. I hope everything's okay for you, Bucking, and, and the family. Uh, I'd like to say hello and good luck to John, who was my first subscriber, and also to Al, and Old School Login, and all the other guys who come on the channel, Cynthia guys who come on the channel and say hello and take a look at uh, what's going on with me here in Spain and I just try and bring you along certain days show you different parts of where I live what it's like in the area as you can see up here it's uh, it's very different very flat you see the mountains in the distance behind Antiquera that's called El Torcal that's a limestone mountains they absorb a lot of water so all of the properties in this area have what's called Torcal water, it's water from the mountains and they store it and they give it out like town water so it's actually pure water from the mountains coming out of the taps in the properties in the area. This uh, very flat area you see around me here, they grow a lot of garlic here. It's a very, very big crop in this area to grow garlic. So, uh, one of the main crops in this area. Earlier on we were up in the olive area, further up, up by the lake. And now we're down here on the plains. It gets very hot here. It's about 40 degrees here now. And uh, this is where they grow a lot of garlic. Okay guys, I'm going to head home. And I'll be posting this later on today. Hope you're all having a good day.